Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Quick video today, I want to share with you something that I've uh, sort of stumbled across. If you're like me, you probably love CNC machining, uh, you love making, you love doing and operating, but you hate oil and the coolant. So today guys, I want to share with you my poor man's oil skimmer. Now I stumbled across this idea, it was either on Instagram or Facebook, but for the life of me, I cannot remember who it was that originally posted this idea. So simply what you do, guys, is you go down to your local hardware store and you purchase some cheap paint rollers. Now, I brought my paint rollers home. I think it was a bag of 10 for under $10. It was very cheap. Now, to use these paint rollers, obviously, you need to plug up the ends. So just simply, guys, I just got out my digital verniers, measured the hole, drew it up in Fusion, took it over to my little 3D printer and printed up some plugs. Uh, that sort of got a little bit tiring, as you know. Uh, you know, 3D printing is wonderful, but you know, if you're in a hurry, it uh, it isn't going to happen immediately. It takes you know 30 minutes or so to print up these little bungs. So I thought there's got to be an easier way than this. So I went into my kitchen and uh, took off the milk bottle lid and found out exactly that. So over here in Australia, we have these plastic milk bottles, and no doubt you have them overseas as well in New Zealand, UK, and in the States. And uh, these little plastic um, high-density polyethylene lids. Anyway, guys, so what I did, I found out these things fitted snug as a bug in a rug. I put a dab of silicon in there and pushed these in. Now, I then opened up my coolant tray and I chucked a couple of these in, guys. Chopped up the coolant with some water and pretty much overnight, it soaked up, I, I would say, look, I'm only guessing, probably 70% of the oil. Now, it's not as good as an oil skimmer, but... You know, I thought it was pretty well. It worked pretty well, guys. So, guys, what did you think of that? Is that a useful tip? Is that something you could use in your home shop? Hey, put your comments down below, guys, if you want to see some more handy tips like this. Um, I'll try and do a little bit of research. Like I said, I did not invent this idea. If you're the one, if you know where it came from, please put it in the, in the comments below. There's nothing worse than plagiarism, and please, this is not my idea, okay? I found it on somewhere. Anyway, uh, look, last week, guys, I met some uh, nice guys. I met some uh, silo owners, and we went over to one of their shops and had a look around, and they also came out to my shop as well. So g'day, Greg, if you're watching. Um, but more, more excitingly, um, uh, my good friend Kevin over in America uh, rang me up, and uh, his mate from Canada, Peter, who's a pilot for Air Canada, had flown into Melbourne, and he was here for three days. He wanted to come out and meet me, and he wanted to check out the soil. So it was really good meeting up with Peter, and... Uh, no doubt I, I chewed Peter's ear off. He came over here to chew my ear off, but it was the other way around. I was more fascinated in, uh, in him flying uh, the big Boeing, uh, the Dreamliner, and th than I was in CNC. But anyway, it was great to meet you, Peter, and hopefully when you come back to Australia some other time, you can pop in. So, guys, if you're ever visiting Australia, hey, give me a shout-out. I'd love to meet you. All righty, guys, take care until next time, and uh, we'll see you here. Cheers. gonna say they fit it in there like a finger in a backside but you can't really say that on YouTube and as long as you're not an axe murderer you're more than welcome to come over home <laughs>